Hi guys, welcome to the review of the Samsung Ativ 700T Smart PC Pro. This particular machine has 4 gigs of RAM uh, with an i5 processor and the speed at 1.7 gigahertz with 128 solid state drive. Um, on this machine uh, you have both touch features and pen input. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about that uh, later on. This uh, machine is an 11.6 screen uh, and probably has about five and a half hours of battery life. Um, it's very very mobile, very very thin. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the folio just so you can see. Really really thin, comparable to like an iPad or or uh, iPad Air I guess, uh, the bigger machine. but. Um, and also comparable to the competitor which is the Surface Pro. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about that and I'll also talk about why I chose this Samsung tablet over the Surface Pro. Uh, mainly for the Surface Pro against the Samsung was just real estate. Um, the real estate on the 10.1 is a little too small for the type of work that I do and, and I just didn't feel comfortable. Another reason was the actual heat uh, temperature from the actual tablet uh, both machines were running simultaneously, uh, both were running uh, similar features and the Samsung was a lot cooler to the touch than the Surface Pro was at the time. And when I'm comparing these tablets, I'm comparing the Surface Pro 1, not the Surface Pro 2. Um, price wise, I think now you can get this one for about $900, maybe $800 uh, certain areas, but uh, a brand new uh, runs, at least when I bought it, was about $1100 when it was all said and done. Uh, also, the uh, the purchase that you can probably get like on eBay or, or used is probably about six hundred dollars, maybe seven hundred dollars, just depending. So uh, overall, price reduction is really really good. Um, I would consider this machine overall pretty decent, uh, a good a good Cintiq alternative. Um, there are some features that I probably would choose on other tablets more so than this one uh, and I'll talk a little bit about that so first off let's talk about the Wacom technology it has a thousand twenty four levels of pressure uh, it comes with an S pin that I don't like as far as preference I prefer a bigger pin and for this particular machine I bought the Toshiba digitizer pin if you look at it it has a, a nice little clip here it comes with a pressure sensitive eraser and your standard you know nibs that go on there to draw directly on the screen um, the other technology which is the touch features or the touch technology on the Samsung are not Wacom enabled uh, they're made by a third party and I'm not really familiar with what it is but essentially uh, what it does is that it makes it unable to disable the actual touch features so the workaround around that was to actually download a hotkey action script if you look up art doc and uh, look up hot, the hotkey action script for ArtDoc, you'll basically get a zip file that you load into the computer and what it does, it disables all the touch features on the actual screen and only makes them available in this area mainly so that you can actually do all your shortcuts whenever you want to pan to a design whenever you want to tab to bring up all your, your uh, tools when you want to edit undo here, let me just draw something here real quick. And you'll see that it undo, edit, redo, and then save, escape, enter, etc., etc. You can also uh, reprogram these buttons and reprogram the action script to basically load up any buttons that you want and also load up anywhere in the area. So like if you want it upper right, lower, lower right, or upper left, lower left, you have the option to do that. For me, I'm left-handed, so I, upper right was the best option for me. Um, Again, the the mobility of this machine probably trumps up the most of the machines that I use. Uh, so um, overall, this is a really good Cintiq alternative um, if you're looking for one that's on the go. But uh, one thing that it lacks, uh, as opposed to some of my other machines, is the actual power. Um, right now, I'm now using an 8 gig RAM motion computing 3500, which I prefer over this one. Even though the 3500 is heavier, I like that one better than I like this one. And main reasons why are because of 
these button features, although they're nice and reliable for this particular tablet, I don't like that it actually interferes with my real estate. I prefer the actual button features on the side as opposed to that. Um, uh, the other thing that this one trumps over the uh, 3500 is uh, the heat. This particular machine can go five hours with no problem and no increase of heat and you won't feel it anywhere. The fan stays pretty uh, low noise. Um, in, in comparison to even the Surface Pro, the fan was blasting on the Surface Pro in comparison to this one and so that was another reason why I got this one too because it's really quiet. Um, also the uh, the weight of this one probably trumps up a lot of the other tablets the colors and the screen resolution is nice uh, again overall it's a really good tablet would I use this one from start to finish not necessarily I know some artists out there say that they can use their surface pro as a start to finish machine and in essence you could do the same with this one uh, I just don't feel that it it's it's up there with what what my other machines can produce so um, as far as uh, beginning to end you can do some beginning to end work no problem uh, this isn't just my all you know my do all machine for for that purpose uh, this is a nice handy sketchbook to kind of carry around um, I, I, I love the the form factor the convenience of it uh, one thing I do not like about this machine is the keyboard keyboard that it comes with it it's not really functional I mean it works uh, I lucked out and I got it when it works there's some people that complain about it not connecting well well mine connects just fine I don't have any issues with it I just don't really use it I don't have a use for it um, this folio that I purchased um, actually was made for both the keyboard and the actual tablet so this lip right here actually when you fold it down goes over a little too much so and you'll see that it's actually sticking out over the rest of the machine uh, it's not terrible but it's not as nice but one of the good functions I wound up using this for was basically placing the pin inside of the hole where you plug in your uh, power adapter and when you fold it, it sets up pretty evenly not perfect but pretty evenly it also has this uh, elastic or spandex uh, band that you hold over just like the old traditional moleskin books that you uh, draw with and holds your tablet all intact and nice and closed. Um, also it does have this little it's hard to see but this little thing I guess you're supposed to put your pin in I uh, wasn't really comfortable with that and somehow some way you're supposed to use this as a stand so basically you like unlock this thing and fold it back and you use that little lip to do something like this I didn't find it too convenient it doesn't lift well I mean it's okay if, you know in a pinch it's okay uh, I don't necessarily like care for it uh, and you would do your auto rotate so it would basically go back around draw this way uh, again I wasn't a big fan I went ahead and bought a it's called an iClip stand uh, it's made for the iPad and what it is is this groove is meant for the iPad to sit in there you essentially can fit any pad in there that can actually slide within that space with no problem and it holds up fairly decent I wouldn't say perfect but it holds up the screen um, it has different adjustments of levels so you can hold it almost vertical there's a midpoint and there's an almost flat which essentially you know you want it somewhere in this area to basically draw and be ready to do whatever you want so um, in essence that's all it is um, as far as the review goes it's not uh, Again, it's not based on the entertainment part of this. I don't, you know, play videos or games or anything like that. This machine is mainly just to draw on. And right now I'm using this one more as a sketchbook as opposed to beginning to end tablet. Um, so overall, it does a fairly decent job. It's really, really fast. It's, um, it's nice. I'll give it that. It's really nice. It's, really, it's a really good alternative. If I had to pick this one over... The Surface Pro, definitely get this one over the Surface Pro. Uh, 